We're going to look at the pocket chainsaw today. It's a little bitty thing, obviously. I have other saws I can rely on. But this is one I like, and here's why. Now all these saws are going to excel at, at a certain task somewhere. This is one of my most used saws. It's just in my Swiss Army knife. It's an excellent saw, but you only got about that much room to saw back and forth. This is the one I typically carry in my hunting day pack. It's got a meat blade on it right now. But if you have to open up a pelvis or split a carcass, this is a good choice. Now, if you're doing some serious wood cutting, you might want this cobalt. It's got seriously jagged teeth on it. It's sharp, it's thin, and it cuts like a laser. And finally, this Gerber is a real sleeper. It folds down to one stick, but it will cut wood like crazy. So let's unbox this chainsaw and see what we've got. It comes in a little bitty box. Now it comes in this tiny case, and this is going to fit very well in your backpack or whatever you're carrying it in. Open it up and we find this. The saw itself is 36 inches long. To use it, you pull on these handles and it will cut wood. I took it out into the Mississippi River to check it out under some field conditions and this is how it worked. This is dry cotton Do you need a pocket chainsaw? There's a variety of different saws on the market, so pick the one that works best for you. This is Leon Pantenberg with Survival Common Sense. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Please take a look at my book, Bushcraft Basics. It's available on Amazon.com at independent bookstores everywhere, or you can order a signed copy. Just check the next link.